Hey guys, so it is Sunday today and I just got to Target since I needed to go to Target to pick something up, browse around a little bit, um, check out maybe their clothes, their swimsuits. I just recently planned a trip which I'm going to need a few swimsuits for. I haven't decided if I'm going to do two piece or one piece yet. I got to work on my body a little bit over the next like month or so. And, and then we'll see. But I did want to check out Target swimsuits because usually they have pretty cute ones. So anyway, um, I'm going to check out some of the Cat and Jack line for Cam. He needs some summer clothes and pretty much just browse around Target just for a little bit and see what I can find. I do need to run over to Trader Joe's. I also need to go to Giant and do the grocery shopping for the week. So I have a few things I need to get done. Camden is sleeping right now. It was so sad. He uh, he fell, um, like, right before I left, pretty much, uh, really, really hard. He fell on his head, like, on the back. He, like, tripped and slid backwards, and Alex was with him and said, like, I heard it. I was in the other room, and I heard it, and it was so loud. So I put some ice on his head for a little bit, and, um, he calmed down after, like, a few minutes of crying, but I just felt so bad. I hate when he gets hurt, especially when he falls and hits his head, because I just feel like, oh, my God. It just, it was a loud, loud noise. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go on into Target now and we'll see what I find. Okay, you guys, so I just got back in the car from um, Target. I didn't really find what I was looking for in there. I needed some swimsuits and stuff, but um, I tried like three different ones on, and you guys, um, I need to diet. <laughs> I didn't even realize how much I needed to diet until I was looking at myself in the mirrors, and I don't know if Target has horrible mirrors or if, oh my god, it's so hot right now. I don't, I don't know if it's the Target mirrors that make you look absolutely awful, which I feel like I've always thought that Target mirrors <laughs> make me look bad because every time I leave Target, I'm like not happy. But I tried on some bikinis and that's not happening. So, I mean, unless I can really get my body into shape over the next couple months before I go. Um, and I am going to Vegas. I'm going to be doing like some pool parties and stuff like that. So I either need to get my butt into shape, which hopefully I can do, um, or like wear one pieces because that was just not cute. Um, but I do plan to really get into shape. I've been running every morning, but I do need to get back into weights. Like I feel like that's the only thing that I can really do that will make me see a difference in my body. If I just keep do like jogging in the morning or running or whatever, I feel like it's not really doing too much for me. So... I need to start doing some squats and abs and things like that and adding that into my workout routine pronto. I didn't get really much for me. I got a few things. I got a few like food items and then most of the stuff I got for Cam, just like some cute clothes that I found for him. So um, I need to go ahead and run now to the grocery store because it's getting late and when I get back home, I will share what I got at Target. Okay, so I just made myself a little bit of lunch. I made a lettuce wrap. I've never like really used a head of lettuce before, like in place of carbs. But my girl from Flipside of the Moon suggested to use like um, a leaf of lettuce instead of like a tortilla or like bread or whatever. So I picked up this huge thing of lettuce and I made myself um, just some buffalo chicken with a little bit of onion, a tiny bit of mayo, and just like a tiny bit of um, cheddar cheese. So. I haven't tried it yet. I have no idea if it's going to be any good, but it's got to be better than eating carbs. So, I mean, not taste-wise, of course, but health-wise. So, I'm about to eat it, and we'll see if it's any good. I had the idea just to add some pickles and a little bit of, where is it, sriracha, which I think I already put away. But I added some sriracha, too. And I was going to do jalapenos, but I think I'm just kind of getting a little crazy. So we are taking Camden to the park right now. I found a really nice park um, close by us that is so much better than the playground up the street that we usually go to. Like, 
they have everything there and it's really nice outside it's like 55 degrees so we're just gonna take him up there for a little bit All right, pick which swing you want. He wants the big boy one. I knew it. Really? This is the one he wanted to go in when I came with him. <laughs> with his ball. <laughs> wee! Say wee! I do what do you think? Big. It's a big dog. Big yeah, dog. big dog. Go pet her, Cam. Come here, Charlie. Can you sit? Charlie, sit. Sit. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> pet her, Cam. Not her butt. Pet over here. It's a tail. It's a tail. You gotta sit him down because he's gonna like walk down there. <laughs> Wee! Is that good? He's not letting go of that ball. <laughs> Cam, say wee! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I'm going to show you um, what I got at Target. We just got back from the park a little bit ago, and it actually ended up being a little colder than I thought it was. It just got colder because it's getting, it's getting late now. Um, so we weren't there for too long, but now my nose is, like, running, which is gross. So I ended up not getting as much stuff as I thought um, that I was going to get. We'll start with, like this bag. Um, so I needed new beauty blenders and I was in Sephora yesterday and I almost bought one but they're like 20 bucks and I just I just couldn't do it because I was like oh my gosh that's so expensive for a sponge and I know that Real Techniques um, these sponges are really really good. I used to have one. I have no idea what I did with it. I lost it but this was cool because this is the Real Techniques sponge but it comes with a protective travel case which I need because my my sponges get super dirty because I just throw them in my makeup bag and it's just so gross. So I figured since this came with like a little case, I would just pick this one up. Um, and then, oh my God, you guys, my lips have been so dry lately. I'm not even kidding. The past like, I would say week, they've been extra, extra, extra dry. And my chapsticks that I have at home, like weren't doing anything. Like I would have to reapply them every literally five minutes to get any moisture on them. So I really wanted the Aquaphor, um, the Aquaphor like lip balm, but they didn't have it at Target. At least I couldn't find it at Target. Um, so I was bummed about that, but I saw this, which looked interesting. It's the limited edition decadent care for dry lips. It's by Vaseline and it's the pink bubbly flavor, which I kind of liked. So it just looks like that. You have to obviously dip your finger in it and apply it to your lips, which I don't love because I feel like that's like dirty, but I'm probably just going to keep this on my nightstand to put it on like at nighttime before bed and stuff. So um, yeah, I will try this out and let you guys know how I like it and how I like the scent. Okay, next two things are food items. Um, so I thought these looked interesting. They are the Revolution Foods Dinner Hero. This is the coconut curry and this is the sesame garlic and their little cooking kit. So it comes with... Um, comes with jasmine rice and a spice blend. All you have to do is add the chicken. Um, and I love stuff like this. It just makes dinner super easy. And I've never seen these before, but I love anything coconut curry and sesame garlic's like right up my alley too. Oh, I did buy, these were two for five. It's the Suja Organic Probiotic Apple Cider Vinegar Juice and it's the pe peach ginger flavor. It says there's four billion probiotics in it, which I thought was insane. Only 25 calories and only five grams of sugar. And I love apple cider vinegar drink. Like, I want to drink more apple cider cider vinegar. I stopped doing it for a while. Um, but I think I'm going to start up again. And this actually was good. <laughs> like, I'm sure to you it might sound a little nasty. But actually, I like vinegar. So it doesn't bother me at all. And I liked it. Okay, so 
that's everything for that bag. This bag is just, I just bought clothes for Cam. Like I said, I found a few things for me and they didn't end up fitting right at all, so I put them back. But I thought this was so cute. It's got little rhinos on it. Oh, it's by, um, it's by Oshkosh, Genuine Kids from Oshkosh. And I got him the size 2T and it has a little hood here, little buttons, which I loved. I thought that was so cute. And it's long sleeve, but it's like light, so it's perfect for like springtime when it's transitioning back from the cold to like the hot weather. Um, I just couldn't resist. I thought it was so cute. And with it, I got these little like sweat shorts. This actually, um, there were like a pair of pants that came with this, but I wasn't like, I didn't like them that much. And then I came across these shorts. These are by, I think, Cat and Jack. Yeah. These are by Cat and Jack. And I just thought they were so cute. And I thought with the little rhino top, it'd be perfect for Kim. I just thought that was adorable. And then I saw this. And this is by the brand Afton Street. Um, they have really cute clothes. And this is just a really soft, cute tee for Cam. It's that same, like, sage green. And then the last thing I picked up for him was also by Cat and Jack. It's just a little t-shirt. And their stuff is so cheap. Cat and Jack's brand is so cute. And their stuff is literally, like, a t-shirt. It's, like, four bucks. So it can't be beat. This one just says Fearless. And I had to get him this because you guys know Cam is so fearless. It scares the crap out of me. But he really is like, such a fearless little boy. Um, and so I had to get him this little shirt and I thought it would be just so cute with all the other stuff I got him. So everything I got him also is 2T because that's the size he's in right now. I just opened this and I had to show you how cute this little case is. Um, I love that. I don't know why beauty blenders don't come with a case, especially because they're $20. They should, you would think they'd come with a case, but isn't that so cute? I just love it. I think what I'm going to do is cut this open. I've seen like those videos go around on YouTube where it's like I cut open my old beauty blender and there's like bugs and like crabs and mice and stuff in it. If there's mold in here, I'm going to puke. Like I'm going to legit throw up. Here we go. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. It's just a dirty beauty blender. That's all it is. You can see, like, how much foundation I've used over the years because it's, like, sunk into the top because this, like, top part is really what I would use, like, the top side. And then this side I would use for my concealer. But, like, look at that. That's nasty. That is pretty gross. But there's no mice in there. If you guys have any, like, remedies on how to clear acne from your chin, let me know because... Like, my face is fine, it's just my chin that, like, breaks out. It's always been the worst for me, and just lately, the past, like, I would say, like, three months or so, I just had the worst breakouts on my chin, and I don't know what to do. Like, I did, um, an honest mask last night. I got, like, a detox, detox mask or something sent to me in the mail yesterday, and I tried it last night, and it felt really good on my skin and everything. I don't know if it helped this situation at all, but if you guys know any products or if you guys can recommend any products that I can use on my chin, let me know. Also, I know my lashes are horrendous. I'm getting them done this week. They need they need to feel so bad. I like don't even know what's going on over here. I, I have no idea. <laughs> are you a monster? No. <laughs> Are you a little monster? Say rawr. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think that is it for today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. And make sure to turn those notifications on to be notified when I upload a new video. Also, double check. Make sure you're subscribed because you know about funky YouTube unsubscribing people. And I will see you guys on Wednesday. Bye.